Today on Hands On Photography, I'm sitting at my desk just listening to some music, going through all of the emails and tags and stuff that I've gotten from you, the loyal Hands On Photography listener. And we're going to do a show dedicated to you and your feedback. This is going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait for you to listen. Y'all stay tuned. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Photography is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash hop. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Matt Pruitt, and this is Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. It's another fine week where I get to sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. It's also another fine time that I can sit down and go through some of your feedback. That's feedback from you, the loyal hands on photographer listener. I really do appreciate all of that support. And um, yeah, it, it's nice to be able to get the feedback from you all. That's got different comments and, and image critiques, requests and things of that nature. Um, or just, you know, like I said, just flat out feedback about a previous episode or questions and whatnot. If you want to be a part of that, go ahead and send an email. Yes, good old fashioned email. Send an email to hop at twit.tv. Again, that's hop at twit.tv. If you want to be a part of this discussion and if you'd like to have your email just be a part of the show, I need you to say so in your message. Um, so I have consent to use your email. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this week's episode. All right. So feedback, feedback is the thing. Let me pull up the, um, the first bit of feedback here on the screen. All right. So this one says, Hey, Ant and team, I was watching the photography workflow video you posted on November 18th. You mentioned importing the photos and then adding keywords. One can also add those keywords during the import. That is correct, sir. On the right side, you can put in the keywords then. Yep, that is correct, sir. Uh, typically, how I do this is to add keywords which apply to the entire photo shoot. Uh, year, month, location, occasions such as birthdays, New Year's, etc. Yep. Then as I go photo by photo, the message continues. I am terrible <laughs> with names, so I allow the face recognition to identify faces in the shoot and I add each person slash models names so that will help me to remember their name and search for that specific person should I need to come back. You probably already knew this, but figured I would send this in just in case you didn't know that. Enjoy. And I hope this helps. Feel free to use the show email, share info as needed. And that comes from David Benedict. And yeah, we talked about the photography workflow as far as getting yourself a, a, a photo shoot gig and whatnot. And, you know, the process of just going through it, getting everything set up from the initial meeting and the expectations. And then after you do the shoot, what's the workflow of handling all of those files? You know, those hundreds and hundreds of photos that you snapped. Um, it takes a little bit of organization and something like Lightroom is, is really, really useful for that. Yes, Capture One works as well. But as I mentioned in that episode, I use Lightroom because it works best for my flow. And um, I don't really see the need to change that just yet. And also, as mentioned in that episode, there's a gazillion different ways to use Lightroom. And I love that Mr. Benedict is pointing out all of that information uh, inside of Lightroom that you can use to be a part of your optimized workflow. Uh, yeah, so definitely check it out, especially when it comes to keywording, because keywording goes a long way. y'all. I'm, I'm, I am serious about this. When you're trying to find something, um, it's, it's so much easier to be able to pull up those catalogs and just type in a keyword versus scrolling through a gazillion JPEGs or raw files and, and pausing and thinking, no, oh, you're looking at the thumbnail thinking, oh, that looks like that may be it. You click on it. It's not it. <laughs> if you just go ahead and keyword things and, and make it so much easier on yourself, that, that stuff will come back, um, 
to, to be tenfold in value to you later on down the road, even down to the process of deleting files that you know you're not going to use. If you snap something and it, and it just is out of focus and it just doesn't look good, it doesn't feel right to you or whatever, delete it, get rid of it. You're not going to have to fiddle with trying to sift through all of the bad crap that you snapped. Um, and you're also going to save some space um, on your computer system. So yeah, just go back and watch that episode of just walking through the photography workflow. And again, if you have any feedback, um, as far as your particular workflow, I'm curious to hear what you do. Cause again, workflow is something that's not going to be a cookie cutter experience. My workflow is not necessarily going to be the workflow that you do. I just wanted to share a guideline that may be helpful to help you just sort of figure out, oh, and this is what I'd like better or what I would probably do here, things of that nature. And none of it's wrong. It's not, none of it's wrong. Uh, so just whatever works for you. And like I also said in that episode, Adobe Lightroom, they designed that application to be used a certain way. And I tried using it a cert- the, the way that they recommend. And you know what? Doesn't work for me. I just... <laughs> It just doesn't work for me. So I figured out I should do it my way. And I've been happy ever since. But yeah, Mrs. Benedict, thank you for that email. And this was, uh, yeah, a lot of good information in that. And I really do appreciate you pointing that stuff out. All right. So let's pause for a second and get ready for our next bit of feedback. Today's episode of Hands On Photography is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Check them out at betterhelp.com slash hop. The best way to think about therapy is through a bunch of analogies. We get our cars tuned up to prevent bigger issues down the road. We get annual medical checkups and go to the gym to maintain our physical wellness and prevent injuries and disease. We also do chores regularly. Well, some of us do them regularly to avoid a giant mess of a house and roaches and stuff. Yeah. Going to therapy is like all of these. It's routine maintenance for your mental and emotional wellness to prevent bigger issues down the road. Therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you, y'all. It, it, it doesn't mean that. It means you're investing in yourself, trying to keep your mind healthy. And that's mm, nothing but respect for you on that. BetterHelp isn't just any online therapy. It's customized for you by offering video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than the in-person therapy. And you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. So why invest in everything else and not your mind? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and hands-on photography listeners will get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash hop. Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash hop. And I appreciate BetterHelp for their support of the show. Okay, so we got some more feedback, and this one comes from Bruce, and it says, Hi, Ant. I'm still loving the show. Thank you very much. I also listen to the Tech Guy podcast each weekend and look forward to hearing what assignment Chris Marquardt gives out. Y'all know the Tech Guy podcast, right? That's uh, hosted by the Chief Twit, Mr. Leo Laporte, each and every Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, check that out. It's a really, really good show. He goes on when he was not on the show, meaning Chris Marquardt, when he was not on the show this last week, I was disappointed. And I thought how your show also inspires me to try new things or just get me off my duff with the purpose to take some photos. Now, that's pretty daggum funny off my duff. (laughs) Uh, The message continues. Have you ever considered doing a more focused monthly assignment episode on hop? You could even tie it them into the guests you interview or the topics you cover in the month. If you ever do, I'm in. And that comes from Bruce. Huh? Good, good, good question there, Bruce. Thank you for that email. And um, yeah, thank you for this question. So, hmm, photography assignments for our hands-on photography listeners. 
Hmm. You know what? I have thought about that. And back way, way, way back when Hop first started, I wanted to do photography assignments. And I remember the first one or two that I did, it seemed like it totally confused the listeners. That may have been my fault. So matter of fact, I'll just take the blame. It may have been my fault that it confused the hands-on photography listeners at that time. Um, so I said, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll hold off on assignments and um, just see if I could figure out a, another way to work those things in. Maybe it was the fact that my show was brand new and people were still trying to figure out, do I want to trust this dude named Aunt Pruitt at this brand new photography show? Did, am I going to stick around for this before I just invest time and in doing assignments? And whew, you know what? Fortunately, you all have stuck around. And I really do appreciate that because the show has definitely grown and I appreciate the support. But yeah, I do want to do some photography assignments, but there's a bit of a caveat. And I think the problem is the delay when it comes to the world of podcasting. All right. So let me just speak from my experience. OK, so I listen to podcasts all the daggum time. I listen to podcasts just about every single day of the week. I have my favorite list of podcasts that I go through and I can guarantee you the podcast that I am listening to right now, if I pull up an episode on my phone right now, this of a favorite podcast I'm subscribed to, I can guarantee you it's not their most recent episode. I don't know why. I am never, ever right up to date with the podcast feeds. I don't know why that is. I try and I listen every single day, but for whatever reason, there's always a delay between what I'm listening to versus what they just currently released out. Sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's two days. And then if it's a weekly podcast or what have you, sometimes it's two weeks of a difference that I'm behind. I don't know why. And as a podcast host, I am responsible for understanding what's going on with my show. So, yeah, I'm going to look at my stats and analytics and things like that to try to help make my show better and provide the listeners exactly what I think would be helpful for them to keep them coming back and, and help grow on the show. That's what I'm supposed to do. And that's what any content creator is supposed to do. You look at that analytics, look at those analytics. And when I look at those analytics, I am finding that most of you, <laughs> the heads on photography listeners, Y'all are a bit behind on the episode counts. So I wondered if I were to do uh, ass uh, assignments, if you will, if if they would just sort of be a bit of a flop because of the, the massive delay in the listeners there. And, and I don't know, I could be wrong, but you mentioned something in that email that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. You said monthly, monthly assignments. I like that. And. I think I may even consider doing that. So because if it's a monthly, that means I'm, I'm going to have at least four weeks, four weeks to have that sort of squared away and ready to go um, because people may be behind and not actually be able to listen to it on the first week and get the assignment. And, you know, a week later, sometimes two weeks later, but that four weeks in a month, that gives me a nice little window to play with. So maybe I'll consider doing that. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Here's our first photography assignment, and this is just going to be a trial run and we'll go from here. All right. So your first photography assignment, folks, let's make this as simple as possible. You're going to get up bright and early wherever you live and you're going to give me some sunrise photography. OK, so the challenge is number one to 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 get up and go shoot. The next challenge is it's super early in the morning and it's got to be sunrise time. Don't you try to trick me and send me a sunset shot, folks. I know how smart some of you cats think you are. No, I want sunrise photography. Um, just whatever you have to shoot with, whether it's your smartphone, whether it's your DSLR or mirrorless or whatever you got. Just um, let's do a sunrise photography challenge. And I'm not going to sit here and say we're going to have winners or anything like that. But I would love to recognize folks that are actually participating in the challenge. So just take the photos, send an email to hop at twit.tv. And in your subject line, put in 
sunrise photography challenge something along those lines so it makes it easier for me to sort through all of the other gazillion emails that i get each and every week from you from you all as listeners so sunrise Ph- photography challenge go ahead and uh snap some photos send them on over to me and i don't want your old photos either that's that's another trick some of you guys would do don't do that don't send me an old photo send me something that is po- that is uh fairly recent that you shot after watching this episode okay all right so there's the challenge mr bruce i hope to see you in the challenge as well uh mr victor you're my editor as a matter of fact if you got some time i want to see your sunrise shots too because i know you can shoot my man you you're not fooling me i know you can shoot All right, folks, that is going to do it for this week's episode. Man, it's been a lot of fun talking to you all. Continue to send me your feedback and comments and image requests, image critique requests and all that good stuff. Just continue to send it on over to hop at twit.tv. And if this was your first time catching my show, Hands on Photography, hey, Thank you for, for checking it out and, you know, just give me a couple of minutes of your time. And um, if, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Whatever podcast application you're enjoying this on. We're on all of the major podcast services, you know, so Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, uh, whatever Google uses. If anybody's using Google's podcast applications, Pocket Cast, Overcast, all of that stuff. And it's available on our website too, twit.tv slash hop. That's twit.tv slash H-O-P for hands-on photography. And all of our show notes are there. All of our subscription options are there. Previous episodes, all of that good stuff. So check us out and subscribe. And also give me a follow over on social medias. If you have any questions, feedback and so forth, then just want to tag me on some stuff on social media. Yeah, do it. Find me on Twitter and underscore Pruitt. Find me over on Instagram and underscore Pruitt. Definitely tag me on Instagram. I love seeing the photos there um, and just going through everything you all share. And yeah, every now and then when people tag me, I, I look through their whole feed. I promise you I'm not stalking, but I'm just curious just to see what's what's going on with you as hands on photography listeners from a photography standpoint. All right. That's going to do it for this week. Thank you all for the tremendous support. Thank you to my man, Mr. Victor, for making me look and sound good each and every week. And don't you forget to send me your photo, sir. <laughs> and uh, folks, we will catch you next time here on the network. So safely create and dominate. And we'll see you later. No ads, just the content. That's what you get when you join Club Twit. You even get extras like Twit Plus, our new bonus feed just for members, and exclusive access to the Club Twit Discord community. Join now for just $7 a month and support Twit as we continue to create top-notch podcasts you expect and deserve. Just getting started, so be one of the first to join as we build Club Twit from the ground up. You could be an early member. Go to twit.tv slash club twit to learn more and sign up now. Thanks. Thanks.